Hi everybody and welcome to the latest video. Sean here from PassFirstTime.ie, Ireland's online driving school. Or if you are looking for driving lessons in Tralee, check out our land-based driving school, idrivetralee.com for more details on how you can get lessons with us. Today we are going to take a look again at more questions we've been asked over the last couple of days on our lessons. And this time we're going to focus on traffic lights and we get quite a few questions on traffic lights so hopefully maybe one of the questions you have asked or thought about is in here so let's have a look at what we have for you today uh, common questions where do i stop at a traffic lights this is very important what is the sequence of the traffic lights what way do they change color what does the amber light of the traffic lights mean very important, it could cost you a driving test if you don't know. And also a bonus at the end, flashing amber light at the pedestrian crossing. Do you know what that means? If you don't, stay right at the end and we'll let you know. Let's start with where do I stop at a traffic lights? You stop at the first solid white line that you meet. If there is no solid white line or if the line is very worn away and you're not sure where it is, this can often happen. You stop always before the first traffic light. So keep an eye uh, as well as on everything else for that line as you approach your traffic lights. The first solid white line. Next, the sequence of the traffic lights. How do they change? Let's start at the bottom. They go from green. The next color is amber and then red. And then they go back to green again. So you can anticipate the changes if you know that. The amber light at the traffic lights. What does this mean? Not alone is it important to know what it means, but it's also very important to know what to do if the light changes to amber as you approach. The amber light means, first of all, that you stop if it's safe to do so. It doesn't mean go if you can. It doesn't mean you have to stop. It means you stop if it's safe to stop. So how do you figure out whether it's safe to stop or not? This can be tricky. The way I have found around it is that you develop what's called a point of no return as you approach your traffic lights. So if you're approaching a light, keep an eye on the light from a distance back. And if that light has been green for a while, first of all, you're telling yourself this light could possibly change to amber as I'm approaching. So you're a bit prepared. Then you pick a point and you say, if it changes to amber anywhere beyond that point, I can't stop safely. So I'm going to keep going. And in that way, if the light does change amber after you've passed your point of no return, you have no decision to make. You've made the decision already. You just keep going. And equally, then, if the light changes to, to amber before the point, you say, look, yeah, I can stop safely if it changes before that. Then you will stop safely and you'll have your mind made up that that's what you're going to do. You don't want to stop suddenly or dangerously at an amber light and equally you don't want to stop if you are before that or keep going rather if you are that before that point of no return and you could have stopped safely. So it, it can be a little vague, but if you use the point of no return as a reference, hopefully that will help you out and make your decision that much easier. Leave a link in the car, a note in the comments below if you have any more tips, I suppose regarding any of the lights really, but in particular regarding the amber light. Have you any old tricks that you could share with the rest of us that we could pass on? And if you do use that point of no return uh, in the next couple of weeks, let me know how you, you get on with it. And finally, our bonus tip. This is the flashing amber light. What does the flashing amber light? At a, that's where you see them mostly at pedestrian crossings. Flashing amber always means yield right of way. You're always going to be yielding to something if you have a flashing amber light. And at a pedestrian crossing, it means that you need to yield to pedestrians approaching or on that crossing. So very often people are sitting at a pedestrian crossing with a red light. The next thing, the light changes from red to flashing amber. So if the light changes to flashing amber, that simply means if there are no more pedestrians or any other road users that have right of way or priority at the crossing, that you can proceed. Hopefully that has been helpful regarding traffic lights. If you have any questions regarding traffic lights, put them in the comments below and I will try and answer them in future videos. The same goes for any questions you have on the driving test is if there's anything you're not clear on or anything like that, always drop a comment and we will try and answer them ASAP. 
Don't forget our online course, passfirsttime.ie. It will help you greatly if you are preparing for your driving test. It's got all the driving test tips and tricks in one video course. Check it out on the website. If you are doing your driving test in the not too distant future, the very best of luck with it and safe driving to everybody. I will talk to you again in the next video. Want to pass your driving test first time? Check out our pre-test driving course. Saving you time, money, and giving you the best chance of passing first time. With RSA approved driving instructors, short, easy to follow video lessons, covering all topics, reverse, turnabout, marking sheet, dual carriageway, car checks, bonnet checks, and a whole lot more to help you pass your driving test. This is your 24-7 driving instructor. Check it out today.